Okay, so welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Rahan. I'm a fourth year medical student um, And today's video is about the UCAT The UCAT not the UK cat. Okay, so it's had a bit basically it's had a name change now It is exactly the same test as it used to be and um, the only reason it's changed its name and dropped the United Kingdom is because it is now not just in the UK it is also in Australia so Australia will now use this for their medical and dental school applications because the research behind this test shows that this is a very good indicator of medical school performance and performance um, after after that just quickly introduce this myself I got 710 in my UK cat um, this video is sponsored by Medify, but that does not change my opinion because I've been bragging about Medify for the past five, six, maybe even seven years. So for Medify to then finally get in touch with me to say, Ryan, can we work on a video with you? It's like, yes, please, come on. Okay, so this does not change my opinion. Now, what I want to talk to you today about is, does Medify really help for the UCAP? Or am I just making a big fuss out of nothing? So to give you an idea, I got 710 with my UK cat. And, and by the way, me and my friends, we use Medify. So I got 710 in my UK cat. My friend got 725. Um, the first person that told me about Medify got 810 in their UK cat. And that was with like two weeks of practice. You just Medify, nothing. So then I was highly inspired. And that's why I use Medify. Um, and like one of my friends got 700. Um, and that's basically our score ranges. Now, to cut to the chase, I want to quickly get on with the video now. The first thing I want to talk about is the practice questions are very similar to the real test. Now, when you're doing questions um, for the UK CAT, you want to get them as close to the real thing as possible. Now, the reason I say this is because the UK CAT or the UCAT is an exam which no one will have really sat before unless you were applying to a grammar school, which in that case, you will have had a similar test. Otherwise, these questions that come up are very peculiar and very unique and they're not tests, they're not questions you get in your biology or chemistry exam or even your maths exam. Okay, so um, they really do test your aptitude. Now, you want to have a revision resource which allows you to practice questions which are, you know, the closest to the real test, not too hard and not too easy and in the right proportion um, as it is in the real test. What I found, and I used different books, um, I used Medify, what I found was that Medify came closer to the real thing, um, especially the math section. I really like the Medify QR section. They have more than 10,000 questions to practice from. If you really want, you can sit through and attempt all those 10,000 questions, okay? But just to make you aware, they have 10,000 questions for you to practice from, okay? So you can never get bored of it. And say you didn't get into medicine the first year, and use Medify and you want to apply again the second year well you've got you've still got another uh, that couple of thousand questions which you can attempt and then if you want to apply again the year after then you still have questions which you probably haven't uh, attempted yet so the questions are very similar to the real test and there's a huge range of them to choose from now one thing you need to know about the UCAT is that they have some difficult questions and some easy questions and um, Medify incorporates that and you get a good range of difficulties in their uh, practice questions as well so that is also very useful. Now one thing I noticed with the UCAT is that there were certain sections which I was quite good at and then certain sections which I struggled with so the math section QR wasn't too difficult for me so like I didn't really prepare for that for that that section that much. When I did it we had decision analysis it was like code breaking so like that section was really easy so i didn't really prepare for that the the two sections that i struggled with was um verbal reasoning and abstract reasoning now abstract reasoning was one of the hardest ones so i did a lot of practice on that the the only thing is there's no point doing any practice if you don't get any feedback or real time answers on what it is that you could be improving or how it is that you should tackle that question so one thing again that I like about Medify is that they give you feedback, they give you statistics, they analyze where you're, which areas you're performing the weakest and they'll tailor the questions to that. So you wanna focus on the areas that you're weakest at because they are what will drag your score down. So for me, VR, I just could not improve verbal reasoning and I really hated practicing VR questions. 
which explains why I got around 500 in my verbal reasoning, which dragged my score down to 710. So, yeah, I would highly recommend working on your weaker sections in the UK cat and Medify can help you do that for sure. Medify has eight mock papers that you can practice. I would definitely recommend this because you want to get familiar with the actual style of the exam and um, before you go in for it so you can feel a bit more confident uh, when you sit the real thing. The UCAT is, a, is an exam like I said you've never done before and you go into these test centers sit down on a computer and sit through this two hour you know sit through this really long exam which you've never sat before it's on a computer which you're probably thinking what on earth um, so you need to get used to it basically they also have video tutorials available so say for example in sections that you struggle with and questions that you struggle with they do have video tutorials so that is also an added bonus the fourth thing that I want to talk about is the on-screen calculator okay so this is a big thing unlike your GCSE or a level maths you don't have a handheld calculator um, so the calculator is actually on screen now the trick to this is to save time you have to use a keyboard shortcuts um, make sure you have number lock on use a keyboard shortcuts and um, that's basically how you become efficient with the on-screen calculator and now the keyboard shortcuts the finger memory all of this comes with um, practice so you can't really practice that when you're preparing for the UK cap using a book which is why um, try the online calculator on Medify get familiar with using your fingers to, to tap in the numbers and, and add and divide and multiply and believe me you'll save a lot more time Medify also has the UCAT Sen so they have mock tests for the UCAT Sen they are the oldest UCAT question bank um, I mean when I applied the UK cat was only a few years old and Medify was the only online resource that you could buy um, so they do have the largest question bank uh, as a result of this um, so it is worth checking them out now you can ask any medical student and the chances are most of them will have said they've, they use Medify for their UK cat prep in terms of pricing um, so I'll put a price list up on the screen um, but one week costs £30, one month costs £40, two months costs £45, five months costs £60 and for a year you pay only £95 but I don't know if I'd want to prepare for the UK cat for the UCAT over the course of a year I think I'd probably get a bit bored of it those are the pricing options available so it's quite flexible uh, depending on how long you want to purchase the UK, uh, purchase Medify for now to quickly conclude this video, um, the UCAT is, an, is one of the most it is one of the most difficult exams that I've ever sat. Um, just because you don't really know how you how well you're going to do until you've done it, and it's not really um, a test of your knowledge. It's a test of your aptitude. It's a test of your ability to work well under pressure. That's what makes it a difficult question, but that's also what makes it so relevant for. Um, medical school applications because these are skills that the medical school are looking for don't worry get the right resources i particularly recommend medify just genuinely because it was the best thing that i use for my uk cat um, now have a look on youtube as well there's plenty of youtube videos out there um, check out some of my videos i'll put a link in the description um, and yeah good luck with the test um, hope this video is helpful Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and bye for now.